So I see a lot of questions regarding targeting in Facebook. And most of the time this applies to the e-commerce and you know, Shopify and drop shipping and all that good stuff. Um, you know, I, I'm going to give you kind of the basics of targeting uh, with Facebook's ad manager here. Now, I talk about this in more detail in my beginner's mastermind. So if you want to go and learn more about how I target Facebook ads and kind of the, the same principles that I use for each ad, um, but also the different ways I go about finding the correct uh, information to input, um, you know, go ahead and check out Beginner's Mastermind. We'd love to have you. I'll put a link to it down below. Also, if you're just thinking about just getting started with Shopify, I'll put another link to the free two-hour training that I offer. So definitely going to want to take a look at that if you haven't quite got your store up and running yet. It'll be super helpful. And like I said, it'll be free training from beginning to and even goes a little bit into my Facebook advertising strategy as well. But getting back to the targeting here, obviously it would be impossible for me to create a video that shows how to target each niche. Okay. There's just too much. There's too many different variables, um, you know, because jewelry is not jewelry. Jewelry could be necklaces. Jewelry could be earrings. Jewelry could be men's jewelry. So even inside each niche, there's sub niches. So I couldn't, I could never give you specifics. But what I can do is kind of just give you a general idea of of what I do when I target uh, in the detailed targeting section right here. And then, and then, like I said, if you want to learn how to apply it to your niche, you know, I really invite you to come over and check out Beginner's Mastermind. I think you'll be really happy with it and find a lot of great information there. And it's, it's really affordable. So anyways, let's get right to it. So let's say, you know, anytime you're doing your detailed targeting, what you want to do is you're going to want to kind of start big and then narrow down. So for instance, let's just talk about like the health and fitness niche. Okay. So, so let's just start with your interest here and say you want to be in the fitness and wellness inter, uh, arena. Okay. So just kind of select everything and... You know, obviously, if you're selling health and fitness products, you know, you, you, you never want to target 113 million people. Right? That's the beauty of Facebook. You can you can really drive this down. You can you can get your target. You're targeting much more focused. So obviously, we want to do better than that. I think a lot of people try to, you know, think about adding demographics here to find the the best possible uh target, I guess. I don't really know what to say. So like, let's, all right, let's, let's take this back one step for instance, and let's look at how you might be going about targeting. So if, if you might be trying to get into your consumer's head, so let's say you sell, um, you know, like yoga mats. Okay. For instance, and you might target, try to target people who like yoga. Okay. As their interest. And Let's see what it's going to show us. It's going to show us 40 million people. Okay, so that's, you can't just go and sell yoga mats to 40 million people, okay? You need to find a way to to kind of narrow that down because if you just throw an ad out to 40 million people, you don't have the budget, okay, to compete at, at this level. You got you to gotta drive your target audience down a little bit. Yeah, if you have an amazing offer or yeah, you're really good at creating a story and kind of doing the content marketing approach, yeah, I mean, you can you can find a way if you can get cheap clicks to target 40 million people, but it's easier to kind of figure out how to better target your audience than it is to figure out how to become a better marketer, I guess, is what I'm saying. It just takes time. It takes practice. It takes experience. You got to, you know, the, the psychology of what works and what doesn't will just kind of come to you over time. So what you want to do is you want to narrow your audience. You know, don't try to, to look at this as a... Uh, this is too big of an audience, so let's get that out of there. And maybe instead of targeting yoga, who is a group of 40 million people, maybe we'll just try to segment it down and say yoga mat. So people who are interested in yoga mat. Okay, so all of a sudden you're like, cool, this is a group of, what did we say, 210,000 people. Um, that's a much more reasonable size audience. But that is is not going to be good enough, okay? And I think this is where a lot of people, especially beginners, get tripped up. They're thinking, okay, cool, Facebook is awesome. Um, you know, if I'm selling yoga mats, all I got to do is you know, target people who are interested in yoga mats. And in theory, that makes perfect sense. But it's wrong, okay? I mean, it, you might find, you might get away, uh, it might work in certain instances, or you might find an ad that it works, but it's, it, 
I don't want to say it's wrong, but it's wrong. So what you would do is, you know, let's let's X this out again, and we're going to kind of start big and work our way down. So for instance, we're going to go back in the target people who are interested in yoga, and we're going to start with that big 40 million uh, person audience. And then what we're going to do is we're going to narrow the audience down. Okay, so you're always going to use this narrow down at least. I, okay, let me step back for one second. I don't want to say I know everything. I don't want to say my way is the only way. So please don't, you know, read other people's information as well and, and you know, take from it what you can. This is just the way I do it. And I, I think this is kind of the way uh, most people find success. But once again, I never want to you know try to steer you on the wrong path and say nothing else will work. So please you know, understand that I'm just sticking to what, what I know. And I guess trying to share that information. So the cool thing about this is, you know, you start with people who are interested in yoga and you, you want to narrow down and, and then it says, and must also match one of the following. So if they are interested in yoga, um, is great, but we'll, maybe we want to say interested in online shopping as well. Okay, so now you have people who are not only is interested in yoga, and this is assuming you're doing e-commerce, you're selling online. This is people who are interested in yoga and also are interested in online shopping. Okay, so now you got this uh, narrowed down from 40 million to 33 million. Well, now you're going to narrow this further. So maybe you're interested in people, finding people who are interested in yoga who are interested in online shopping. Okay, so now that you got that, you're down to 33 million people, then you want to narrow it further. And then maybe you want people who are also interested in some sort of yoga brand. So like, for instance, uh, Lululemon, right? They make yoga clothing, I guess. So if you, if you type that in as well, okay, now you got people who are interested in yoga, but they also must be interested in online shopping, and they also are interested in in, you know, like Lululemon or something like that, which is a, is a yoga brand. Okay. So, you know, you can even, even narrow it down further by, by looking at the suggestions. So for instance, if you type in Lululemon and, and then you look for suggestions, uh, you know, and Leda, uh, or Athleta, which is, I think Gap's brand is also another, uh, interest. So maybe what you would do here is not add that in there, but instead narrow it further and say also people who are interested in, what did we say? Athleta? So now you're down to a group of 4.7 million people and, and you just keep narrowing down until you get the size audience that you like, because, you know, you got people who are interested in yoga, but they're also interested in online shopping and they must also be interested in Lululemon and they must also be interested in Athleta. And the more brands they're interested in related to the, the topic, uh, you know, the, the more likely are they're going to be open to other brands as well, because if they just like Lululemon, maybe they only buy Lululemon, but if they like Lululemon, they also like Athleta you know, so on and so forth, you know, then they're going to be more likely to buy your, your product as well. Now, once again, if this is just kind of, if you take this approach, you just got the point I want to make is you, you really got to start big and then narrow your audience down. If you want to look in and kind of dive a little bit deeper and get into the specifics of how I decide, uh, you know, where to start and how to narrow and the exact terms and the exact things that I'm searching. Once again, come on over to beginners mastermind, uh, we'll, we'll get you signed up. You, you'll, the, the videos are right there and there's just a whole host of other just fantastic information that you're going to absolutely love. And, and I think it'd be worth your time, but at the very least, I hope you found value in this video and got a better understanding of, of really how you're going to approach doing your Facebook targeting. If that is the case, please subscribe to the channel. I'd love to have you. I try to put out two to four videos a week, just valuable, uh, free training. And, you know, once again, if you're just getting started with Shopify, I'll put, put the link to that uh, two-hour free course as well. But thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.